we must speak. We must take sides. For neutrality helps the oppressor, never the victim. Silence encourages the tormentor, never the tormented. Sadly, many in the world today turn a blind eye as human rights come under assault. Yet despite the brutality, a small number of courageous men and women around the world are willing to sacrifice their own freedom, and sometimes their own lives, for the cause of human rights. Police arrested a renowned pastor at his home in Harare. We cannot remain silent. We must speak out. And that is why activists from around the globe united to create the Geneva Summit for Human Rights. I'm extremely grateful to be here. We bring heroes together to testify before the United Nations and before the world. The Geneva Summit gives a voice to dissidents, activists, and the families of political prisoners. I was trapped in stocks, chained, urinated upon, spat at, fed glass, and I was always forced to confess. I am the proud daughter of a political prisoner in Venezuela. My pregnant wife and my two infant daughters were threatened with rape and death whilst I was in prison. I experienced symptoms of severe poisoning that left me with a multiple organ failure, in a coma and on life support. It was certainly intended to kill. The Geneva Summit connects dissidents with influential government officials. The summit educates the next generation. The empty chair on this panel is dedicated to Wang Bingzhang, one of China's longest serving political prisoners. The summit applies pressure on governments to release political prisoners. My husband sent to me a letter last October. I was beaten a total four times by 10 or 12 people at once. Thanks to the Geneva Summit, our human rights heroes get their message out to the world. In prisons around the world, there are so many human rights activists. Their voice must be heard by heads of states, policy makers, foreign ministers. Their only hope is the international support. The Geneva Summit, hope for the hopeless, a voice for the voiceless.